Dow Jones yielded a bearish week last week I have discussed that below 34000 levels we are looking forward to 33500 and 33300 levels which is also the 100 period moving average on the weekly charts it has gone close to 33300 before closing the week above 33500 now remember US 30 so far has closed the month and the week on a bearish note in the beginning of the month also in my monthly review we have clearly mentioned that it is going to be a bearish month now what to expect from the month of october is it going to crack further on the downside or we can see a reversal from these levels staying in this bullish channel we will see with the help of charts and indicators first we'll look into purely charts followed with indicators towards the end i will give you the summary of the observation along with the trading strategy and trading levels which you should watch out for so do watch till the end let first let's have a look at the weekly chart see on the weekly chart first drop then the retracement then couple of red candles and it is still staying bearish you can note this fact that this is the bearish channel in which it is trying to trade the support levels at 33000 and 32 are going to remain a very very strong support here on the downside yes this is not only the bottom of the channel but you can note on the weekly charts see how strong is this support zone see multiple candles failing to break past by here again multiple candles failing to break past by in fact i will say as long as 32500 is there we can expect a possible bounce back and remember 32500 is almost 1000 points from now which equal to close to 3% from the current levels yes the possibility is there that it can crack till towards those levels before looking forward to a bounce back that is also equally possible now if you note the fact that see first bearish candle second bearish candle the size of the candle is diminishing it is more bearish it is lesser bearish coming to the downside you can see there is a wick on the downside which suggests that there is a possibility that the third red candle may appear which might take the prices towards 3200 or in fact 33000 levels yes or uh, 32800 as well these levels certainly are going to remain a great great support and from there a retracement can be observed that is what we can expect for the next couple of weeks and this month that a bearish candle this week Uh, followed with couple of greener candles and a retracement and then a down move may presume there at the same time on the weekly charts one must note see the rise there this was the bullish flag formation and then this breakout now it is trying to fall back within the channel which is right now limiting at around 32 to 500 so falling back within the channel may bring extreme bearishness on the downside which right now it may try to fall shy off at the same time one must note that since long it has been trading in this bullish zone and last to last week it has given a breakout so yes the breakout may continue for a while here so this also suggests that the bearishness may continue for a while and the support levels might come into picture at around 30 to 500 levels which are going to remain very very strong support but the first resistance zone is at 30 to 800 33000 and levels and then 30 to 500 these two are very critical support levels below that a sharper fall cannot be denied here remember there is lot much of white space need to be covered however it is still staying bullish coming to the if you look at the daily chart see higher lows higher highs now after the drop this is a retracement zone in which it is trying to trade the top of this channel somewhere here at around 34 34100 levels only above 34100 we can say further bullishness may prevail taking it till towards 34400 levels the chances appear to be less here but yes right now it is trying to retrace a little on the upside now higher lows higher highs also suggest that any break below 33400 should be taken up seriously where one can look forward to 33200 33000 and 32800 levels as the next support also if you note that the last candle it was a swing candle we expected it to be a swing candle in my daily and review but yes it has dropped towards 33400 now the median here is at 33650 so in the first trading session if you see it is staying above 33650 you can expect 33800 as the first target and then it can try to go closer to 34000 levels finding the resistance at 34000 that is what we can expect and then it may try to trade in this zone that is another probability here on the daily charts also if you look at the daily charts you will find 33300 levels are definitely a great great support you can find out this and then 33000 levels the ultimate but for next week i will still expect 33 400 to be the first level beyond which certainly the bearishness is going to prevail taking it till towards 33 200 and 33 000 levels and then now see for the last week this was the consolidation zone 
33600 levels it has already breached 33600 level and now trying to stay lower it can try to achieve the bottom of this and around 32600 500 zone possibility exists very very strong now let's have a look at the monthly charts now look at the monthly charts at the beginning of the month itself i have mentioned that it is going to be a bearish candle it can give to or it can lead to a sharper fall coming out of this channel that is what has happened but so far one can observe that see multiple candles got the support at around this zone and it is still falling shy of this also remember the fact this is the first breakout candle here so there is a possibility that a follow up candle may be seen which can take it further down the probability is high towards first target at 33 32 800 levels yes can be expected then 32 500 and in fact it can it can breach 32000 levels as well the probability is very very high at the same time one must note the fact right now see if you divide into two you will still observe see first greener second greener and the second red candle here and this is still at a higher zone higher lows are seen so a reversal from here to be considered above 34 300 and then if it stays above 34 500 levels should not be think of selling or remaining short if it stays above 34 500 levels here beyond which certainly we can say that the bulls are taking over couple of bullish candle couple of retracement candles higher lows and then the bullishness may continue here we have to be watchful here at the same time any break below 33000 level is the only confirmation that the bears are taking over and we are going to look forward to a sharper drop in the coming few sessions so, now also let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are suggestive of you can take a note of this that the prices were divergent from the 20 period it has come towards the 20 months average which has taken a good support here at 20 months average and it is still staying above now you can look at the preceding candles these are all staying about 20 months average and from there we can see a rise here and right now that is the same observation we can have at the same time if you look at the moving averages these are trading with divergence these are still staying bullish laying one over other there is no sign of convergence and the 50 period moving average is now staying very very far below at a close to 31500 levels so yes the last drop was this now it is trying to resume its downward journey possibility for higher lows at around this zone is also there this is a caution note for us all now look at monthly stochastic forming the double bottom it is looking downwards it can continue its downward journey from here however there is one good sign on the macd look at macd here see macd is at bottom you can see and from these bottom levels it is always scaled to the higher highs now see this is crossed over after long long time and now again it is crossed over on the sell side so if this is bearish this candle has to be sharply divergent this candle has to be sharply bearish which can take the prices below zero levels and that is going to be a critical sign for us 30 because see after long long time it is aspiring to achieve sub zero levels this is only at the time of financial crisis that we have seen the us 30 macd in last 15 20 years staying below uh, zero levels and below before that it was 2000 year 2000 so almost 20 years it has stayed above this zone and this time it is diverging here a single red candle may bring more bearishness in the future here we have to be watchful it is just crossed over right now in this month rsi is looking downwards that is also a bearish sign coming to the weekly on the weekly chart see after a long time now moving averages are trying to convert the prices stayed below 2050 and in fact it has gone towards the 100 period moving average it has failed to break past the 100 period and breaking below which certainly this time a crossover is what i will look forward to if it crosses over we may see us 30 entering into bearish zone for a little while see this was the previous crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average and after that we had seen a sharper sharper fall now this is again the beginning of it if it does see a crossover certainly the bearishness may prevail at the same time right now if you just connect it you will find still higher lows higher highs we have to be watchful of 33,000, 32,800 levels only below which the bears are confirmed on the weekly chart the stock stochastic is almost on the verge of hitting the oversold levels and we have seen many a times us 30 always trying to recover from around these levels 
Now look at MACD. See MACD has crossed over here, trading with divergence. The candle size is increasing. It can continue to yield the bearish candle for a little while. You can note this whenever it has crossed over, it has diverged for a couple or more candles, and hence this month might stay or might gonna be a bearish month where the prices may stay lower for a little while. RSI is also looking downwards, trying to stay bearish. Coming to the daily. Now, only good sign on the daily charts is the divergence of the price from the moving average. However, look at the moving average is just crossing over and looking vertically down. The 50 and 100 also on the verge of a crossover. Hence, for the near term, we may see either consolidating or staying bearish for a while here. Wait for the moving average till it comes down to 34,000 levels, 34,200 levels. It may try to achieve those levels before looking forward to down move. So this is one of the probabilities. Hence, even if you see it retracing towards 34,200, 34,000 levels, do not think it of as a reversal. It is a retracement and a probable fall can begin from those levels. And as I said, as long as 34,500 is respected, we are not going to treat US 30 for a reversal. Now see, stock stick after hitting the oversold levels, it is trying to recover. The possibility for it to rise a little, show a little rise exists. Look at MACD here. Now see MACD, the drop here, the retracement, and now again resuming its downtrend. Now this is still divergent. This is still bearish. It can stress the drop for a while. See, when it was on a bull run, it has achieved plus 400. So while on the bearish note, it can try to aspire towards minus 400 levels. Now, this was also the previous bottom that this suggests that still US 30 has a probability for it to continue on the downside and we may see the fall there in the month of October before looking forward to a reversal here. That is one of the outcomes of this observation. RSI is almost at the oversold levels right now and this could be one of the support levels from where a little rise can be seen. So, see a retracement towards 34,000. I will give you the summary just now we are done with the observations here and we are done with the charts, we are done with the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels strategy and give you the summary of the observation. And before I proceed, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. The 26th batch is going to start on 9th of October. Limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Invest in your learning first, which can reap the profits throughout your life to you because see, learning is the only investment which can give you returns throughout life and hence invest in learning first. Also, you can be part of my signals channel or else join my free telegram channel to get the live updates. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment friends. Your every like, share, subscribe and comment is a great support motivation for me to deliver daily and weekly reviews. In fact, monthly reviews for you in advance to the best of my ability so that you can all trade with profits. So do press the like share, comment, subscribe and comment button. Let's start now. First, let's have a look at where to. I will recommend you to buy here at 33,550 levels, but 33,600, 33,660. This is the zone it needs to break past by. If US 30 stayed out of this zone, one can expect that we might be looking at 33,800 levels as the next resistance. And staying above 33,800, the possibility for it towards 33,920, 34,000 levels will be very, very high. Now, these are greater, greater resistances. 34, 34, 200 levels are the great, great resistance on the upside. As long as US 30 stays below this, certainly we can see a sharper reversal from around these levels. In fact, 34, 100, 200, this complete zone is a good resistance zone. Beyond 34,200 is where little bullishness can be expected for 34,330, 34,410 and then 34,500. Only beyond 34,500. Now, this is for the complete month of October. Only beyond 34,500, we can say that the bulls are taking over and it is going to fly high. Do not think of selling uh, US 30 below th beyond 34,500. Possibility for it for a further rise is seen there above 34,500. And 34,700 is the next milestone. Now, on the downside way to sell, see, I see a potential retracement towards 34,200 levels. Even if it has to stay bearish, it can retrace a little on the upside. Remember this fact. On the downside, yes, a possible sell entry can be seen here at 33,470 levels. Expect 33,400. Now, 
Once it stays below 33400, remember we are going to look forward to 33200 levels at the first target, 33000 levels at the next, and then 32840 levels at the third target. Remember these are good great support below 32840. Further bearishness is going to be seen for 32710, 32600 levels, and 500 levels. Now these are going to be the stronger support zones which I have highlighted here. 32800 very good support 32500 very good support 33000 so every 200 points almost on the downside are going to remain good great support it has to break below 33400 levels for further bearishness to prevail here remember below 33400 levels do not think of buying a uh, us 30 and still it is going to remain sell on rise position where every rise towards 34000 levels should be an opportunity for us to enter into a selling position in us 30 Take your trades accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the tailing stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship batch or singles channel and join my free telegram channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries. My telegram email IDs and other details are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week, trading month ahead. Do watch the daily updates before the US session. Definitely it will add meaning to your day trading decisions. Thank you.